the Washington football team just retained possibly one of their most important upcoming free agents, and that is Taylor Heineke. And today I want to break down Taylor Heineke's film from his playoff performances here and really dive into the ceiling of Taylor Heineke and why he can be such an important asset to this Washington football team moving forward. Jumping into the film breakdown, it is definitely worth noting that all the clips from today's breakdown is going to come from Taylor Heineke's one and only start against the Buccaneers in the postseason, who the Buccaneers had possibly the best defense in the league. So with that out of the way, I really want to dive into this first play, and I really want to highlight two things from Taylor Heineke. His ability to read defenses and understand an offensive scheme, and his ability to throw with anticipation. So pre-snap here, we got a defensive look of a cover three by the Buccaneers. Offensively, we're going to be working this high-low read at the top of the screen. We'll be working this corner route over the top, and underneath we'll be running this out route. At the Sabbath Bowl, I really want to keep your eyes on the corner at the top of the screen that should be dropping into that deep third zone. He's going to aggressively step up here and vacate his zone to take away this low read here. He's going to try to take the out route away right at the sticks. And with that, now we have a vacated zone here in the deep third of the field where the corner route's breaking into. Taylor Heineke, he sees it. He understands it. He's throwing with a great anticipation here. He's releasing the ball before the receiver even breaks on his route here. And this is going to lead to a big shot play down the field, pick him a big play on third down. Once again, I'll let the play roll from the top. But this is just a great example of Taylor Heineke's anticipation as a thrower, but also his ability to read defenses and understand what the offensive system is asking from him. Jumping into this next play now, I really want to focus on Taylor Heineke's pocket presence and his ability to handle pressure in his face, especially with the trade rumors looming around about a Marcus Mariota possible trade. We all know Mariota's biggest weakness is his pocket presence, but in my opinion, I think Taylor Heineke's pocket presence is one of his strongest assets. And that's where we see pre-snap here. The Bucks are going to be running a cover zero blitz. They're sending the house at Taylor Heineke, trying to pressure him on a third and ten red zone throw here. Offensively, I really just want to focus on the top of the screen, this out route here. And at the snap of the ball, just look at this. The house is coming at Taylor Heineke. He has pressure in his face, does not have a clean pocket, takes a big hit here, but somehow he still gets the ball out on time. There's an accurate pass on the sideline there, pick him a crucial first down inside the red zone. Once again, I'll flip the play to the tight shot here. This is just a really good look. He's got two, three guys in his face. Somehow, though, he throws a shot right to the sideline in tight man-to-man -man coverage. So we've seen Taylor Heineke's anticipation as a thrower. We've seen his ability to handle pressure. Now I want to flip gears and look at his ability to throw across the middle of the field accurately and with touch. And pre-snap here, defensively, we're going to have a cover three by the Bucks, And offensively, we're going to be working this dig and drag combo at the bottom of the screen here. More specifically, at the snap of the ball, I really want to focus on the dig route. And as we let the play roll, we're going to see these middle field defenders here. They're going to get held in place here by the drag outs. and have to respect these underneath routes. And we, you're going to see because of that, this dig route's going to break right behind them here and have an opening in between these two zone levels. Taylor Heineke sees it. He's already releasing the ball. He's throwing his receiver open here. But most importantly, he's going to have to throw this ball with great touch here to get over top of this middle field defender circled in red. And as I let the play roll here, we're going to see Heineke does just that. He fits the ball perfectly, throwing with great touch right over top of the middle linebacker. And this is also a really good point to highlight that he's placing this ball on the back shoulder of his receiver, protecting his receiver from a big hit from the middle third safety. Overall, as I let the play roll from the top, just keep an eye on a few things. His anticipation as a thrower, he's throwing his receiver open. He's throwing this with great touch to get over top of that middle linebacker. And the ball placement to protect his receiver from any big hits from that middle third safety. Overall, these are all high-level things to see from a passer, especially in his first game as a starter. So jumping into this next play, I want to keep the spotlight on Taylor Heineke's ability to read and understand defenses, and also, once again, his ability to attack vertically down the field. So defensively, pre-snap, we got a cover three by the Bucks. Offensively, we're going to be working this post and see him combo to attack the middle third safety here. We're going to use this post route to hold the middle third safety in the middle of the field to allow the seam route to find a crease in between the two deep thirds at the bottom of the screen. And as we freeze the frame here, we're going to see the middle third safety. Like I said, he's held in place. He isn't opening up to the two receiver side at the bottom of the screen, which is going to allow this seam route to find a crease right in between these two zones. Taylor Heineck, he's going to see it. He's going to read what the defense is giving him, and he's going to do a great job attacking vertically down the field, picking up another shot play. Once again, I'll let the play roll from the top so we can see it happen in full speed. But this is a great example of Taylor Heineke's ability to read defenses and really understand what the offensive system is asking from him and really his ability to attack vertically down the field once again. Overall, with all these pauses, I do have to highlight the one negative I've seen from Taylor Heineke, and it's ar his arm strength. It's not awful. It's not terrible. It's just not great. It's not like an Aaron Rodgers or Patrick Mahomes level arm strength where it's got his passes aren't going to be cutting through the air. They're not going to be like bullets cut into his receivers. They're more so going to kind of hang in the air for an extra second. They're going to be kind of a little bit lackluster, especially on the passes to the sidelines. 
But like I said, it's not terrible. He can make every throw in the playbook. He can throw the ball anywhere across the field. It's not a huge glaring red spot in his game. It's kind of like the nitpicking negative I had to bring up because overall, from his first career start, there wasn't really a lot of negative moments in that game. He played strong. He hung in the pocket. He threw with great touch, great anticipation. And overall, he looked almost like a veteran in Ron Rivera's system. Overall, though, there's a lot of positives to like about Taylor Heineke. Like I said, to start off with, the anticipation as a thrower you looked at today, his ability to throw the ball before his receivers even break on routes, that's huge. And those are the type of things that can kill quarterbacks' careers if they can't throw with anticipation. But in his first career start, Taylor Heineke shows that he's able to throw with anticipation at a high level. Also, like I said from the second play we saw, his pocket presence, he stands tall in the pocket, he can sling shots into tight windows under pressure, but not only that, he's slippery too. Even when he gets into pressure, he gets really good at feeling pressure and slipping outside of the pocket, and he's really good at throwing on the run outside of the pocket. Like I said, overall, he throws with great anticipation, has great pocket presence. On top of that, attacking down the middle of the field, attacking vertically across the middle of the field, he's able to throw with great touch to get over top of those middle field hook defenders, but he's able to even sling it right between those tight seam shots between the safeties. Overall, like I said, Taylor Heineke throws with great anticipation, has great pocket presence, has great touch with the football, is accurate. A lot of good things to like, and especially with the Washington football team getting him back on a two-year, $8 million deal. It's a cheap deal. It's a low-risk deal for a quarterback that showed a lot of potential in his first career start for the Washington football team. But that's my opinions on Taylor Heineke. I think he has the potential to be a very solid starter quarterback for the Washington football team. Let me know your guys' opinion. Should the Washington football team trade for Marcus Mariota? Should they roll with Taylor Heineke? Should they draft a rookie? Let me know your guys' thoughts. Thanks for watching. I love hearing from you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.